What's going on gamers? Welcome back. Force here with some more Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers multiplayer. Today I'm up against Ridiculous. Cellulose? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm playing the uh, Obedient Dead deck, which is the Mono Black deck. And again, I am up against Ridiculous. Ridiculous? <laughs> oh, you're so clever, idiot. All right, uh, he gets to play first. I'm not a huge fan of my opening hand. Let's go for this one. I'm really not that great either, but not, not, I don't know. It could be worse. It's pretty bad though. It's pretty bad. Starting off with two jet medallions, making all my black spells cost one colorless loss. I also got, ooh, that is a nice follow-up with the Nantuku Shade. It's actually really, really good to have. So I've got the Nantuku Shade, which I'm going to play next turn. It's 2-1, but I can pump it up. Makes for massive damage pretty early on. Um, then two of the Jet Medallions. I've got a Diabolic Tutor, which it costs four to play, but lets me search my library for any card and put it into play. It's unbelievable. 2-1 Death Touch, of course he gets that. And then Rise from the Grave. I can take any creature from any graveyard, put it into play. Hello. Who doesn't like that? Turn two. Let's drop down the shade. Why don't we? Now he's got a 2-1. He played the Thorn Weld Archer. It's got Reach and Death Touch. Uh, death Touch means anything it touches dies. <laughs> Basically is how that works. And so if he blocks with that, obviously I'm hella screwed. So I'm going to be, of course, careful. Then plays a Wood Elves this turn, which lets him search his library for a forest and put it into play. Now he's actually going to save the archer for blocking, which is very smart of him. He's going to save it to block the shade. So, I'm just going to bide my time here. And throw down some jet medallions. And uh, start to start to get, get that going here. Now look what I just drew into. This is hilarious. You need to see this card. It's unbelievable. Grizzlebrand, 7-7 seven, seven, Flying Lifelink. I can pay 7 life to draw 7 cards. It's hilarious. Alright, plays the 5-3, Thrag Tusk. When it comes into play, he gains 5 life. When it leaves play, he gets a 3-3 Beast Token. Fine by me, dude. Fine by me. Alright, I drew into Murder. It lets me destroy target creature. I can also play my Diabolic Tutor. Now, Murder is an instant cast. I can also throw down my Jet Medallion here. Let me throw down my next Jet Medallion. And I'm going to hold off on the murdering. <laughs> and I'm going to hold off on the tutoring for now. What I'm going to do is this turn, I'm assuming he's going to attack with this. Which I'll block with this and kill. Or I can just kill outright. But I think I'd rather block with that to kill. And then I'll be able to rise from the grave him and get him myself. So that's what I think is going to happen here. So we're going to skip all this stuff. We're gonna tell him. We're gonna tell Ridiculous to go. Ridic, Redick, you gonna attack? Redick, of course he attacks. So what we do is we go for the block, and we pump him up by one to give him that extra damage to kill that off. And then he says, oh, you fool, I just got a 3-3 back. And then I say, well, you don't know what I have in my hand. You don't You don't know. You don't know what I have in my hand. I don't know what he has in his hand, actually. So that's scary. What, is he, what do you have? <laughs> what? No, seriously, what do you have? Tell me. Tell me what you have, please. Wow, another one. Holy crap. That's a pain in the butt. All right, so bearing that in mind, I can play this for just three, and I can two with the tutor. Having these two things in play, having these two gem medallions in play, really does help me a lot here. Um, now I've got the murder. Kind of want to hold off on the murder for now. Want to hold off on the murdering just for a moment. I think I'm gonna go. Maybe I still need to. I, you know what I could do? I can Diabolic Tutor. This is only costing me three, and this is costing me two. Let me Diabolic Tutor first and foremost here. I'm gonna tutor, and um, I get a few few options here. I don't have a ton of time though, so I can't talk you through this. Um, you're gonna notice the time on the left-hand side is pretty pretty low. 
kind of almost want to go with him. Six five. This guy's pretty good too. Maybe send him for blocking. Let me pick him up. Really big fan of this guy right here. Um, now with my next thing, uh, I'm gonna try not to die right away here. Uh, I think I'm going to grab him from the grave. Cause I need something to block this turn so that I don't die. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that, which lets me take a card from a graveyard and put it into play. And there you go. So I just got his 5-3 under my control now. So it gives me some blocking capabilities. He can swing with everything now though, and at the very least he'll get five throw. You're swinging with everything, right? It'd be stupid not to. There you go, smart boy. All right, so he's gonna swing with everything. I'm gonna block his five three with my five three. The least amount of damage possible go through. So we get six through, what was I saying before? I'm a silly. Eternal Shaman comes into play, gets to return a card from his graveyard to his hand. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Good for him. All right, we're gonna grab that. Now I could just play him right now, which would be pretty good. I could also play this guy. So I searched my library for this right here. It's a 5-5 five, five Trample. Whenever any source deals damage to this card, that source of control has to sacrifice that many permanents. So that makes this a beautiful blocking creature. Because if he attacks and I block, whatever I block, however much damage it does, he has to sacrifice that many permanents. That is huge. Now I could also play the 7-7 seven, seven Flying Lifelink with a huge bonus of paying seven life and drawing seven cards. That's also uh, in my within my grasp. But I think I'm gonna go first for the Obliterator here. Because this gives me a, a tremendous blocking creature. For, for the moment. This gives me a beautiful blocking creature. I'm not going to attack. I want to save him for blocking too. Next turn I can go with the Grizzle Brand. He is going to destroy target permanent, giving me a 3-3. Three, three. Of course he does that. Well, it's a huge bummer. He just played Beast Within, destroying what was my beautiful blocking creature, and now replacing it with a 3-3 three, three token. That's a huge bummer. Kind of throws a wrench in my plans, but you know what, at least it wasn't the Grizzle brand, right? Because this card is pretty phenomenal as well. Um, still have my murder, I can still destroy target creature. Which we'll see. Um, let's take a look here. I'm gonna go with uh, killing off that thing. And then killing off one of his three threes. It's blocked like that. Still gonna hold off on the, on the murder though. I wanna wait until... Damn it. Is this gonna stop it from resolving and destroying that? Fingers crossed. No, it doesn't. That means I can't play my Grizzle Brand unless I draw into another swamp. Ugh, whatever. I just drew into something <laughs> equally awesome. Check check this out, Grave Titan. 6-6 six, six Death Touch, anything it touches, dies. <laughs> uh, when it comes into play, or attacks, I get to put two, 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 two black zombie tokens into play. Comes into play, bam, I get two, two, two zombies. Bam, just like that. So, all of a sudden, I've got an army. I put one card on the board, and I've got an army all of a sudden. Oh, it's it's glorious indeed. Ridiculous, what else do you have? Thrag Tusk, plays a Thrag Tusk. It's fine by me. Bam. Ready for this, guys? Say hello to Grizzlebrand. 7-7 seven, seven flying lifelink. I can pay 7 life to draw 7 cards. Which I will be doing, mind you, at some point. No question about that. Alright, so I can attack right now with my 6-6 six, six Grave Titan. He'll probably chump lock, but I also get 2 more zombies through here if I do that. And then I've still got him to swing with. Whenever he it's, it's only when I attack. It's not attack or block. Enters the battlefield and attacks. So I attack, he blocks with say the 5-3 and the 3-3. Three, three. 
It will kill him. I'll get two, two, two more zombie tokens into play. He does have one card in hand, but at any given moment, I can also have seven cards in my hand. I just gotta dump down seven life, that's all. And then if I do that, he gets rid of a ton of his creatures. He would definitely do that though, because he'd get a 3-3 three, three through as well. I'm actually gonna hold off on attacking with my 6-6 six, six right now. I'm gonna hold off on that. So this is this is pretty key here. I need to start gaining some life, and uh, and then using that life to fuel cards in my hand. Okay, he's about to do that. He's about to beast within. I'm gonna respond by filling my hand and paying seven life. Now that's that's a lot of life for me to pay, but I also just filled my hand, and uh, the hope is that I get stuff that was worth it. Did I? Kind of a tough call because I don't really have a lot right now. It does, that's that actually wasn't that good of a of a draw there, but. Anyway, what we're gonna do is uh, get some of this stuff in play now. Starting off with a Halo Hunter, it's just a 6-3 Intimidate. Uh, Intimidate is, can only be blocked by other creatures that share a color. So he can't be blocked by my opponent, which is good for me, of course. Um, I can throw down a murder right now. I've got the shade that I can play. Just a 1-1 one, one comes into play, search my library for a swamp and put it in my hand, whatever. Uh, nothing significant. But this is pretty good to have as well. And uh, the murder could be pretty crucial here. In fact, what I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drop a murder on his 5-3 there. Get him another 3-3 three, three in play, that's fine by me. I still don't know if I want to attack with him yet, though. I think I'm going to hold off for now. Yeah, I'm going to hold off for now on attacking with him. It's been a pretty good game, and I actually still don't, I don't know how it's going to go, because I did not get a good draw with those seven that I drew, and losing seven, losing that seven life was pretty huge. All right, he just drew an 8-5, can't be countered haste. Can't be the target of non-green spells or abilities from any source. All right, whatever. I'm gonna play, play the shade and save my mana for blocking. So that's an 8-5. Can't be the target of non-green spells or abilities from non-green sources. What the heck? So I can't target him, but I can still kill him from blocking or whatever. So this is a dangerous game here. Um, well, I'm gonna attack with the 6-3, that's for sure. And let me actually go ahead and throw him in play as well. Another uh, swamp in my hand. <laughs> cause, I, Cause I don't have enough of those, right? Oh! Looks like he left the game. <laughs> so I guess I won. Uh, he got taken over by AI. I mean, I, I didn't necessarily win. I still may lose this, but... Um, the, the real player who was just playing that guy left the game just now. All right, so I still need to save blockers. I wanna make sure that I save enough blockers to... Uh, finish him off if necessary. So I'm gonna go with this, this, and him. I'm gonna swing with these guys here. Well, uh, so Ridiculous left the game, now replaced by Eva as you see there. Eva's gonna double block the 6-6 there, he's gonna block the 1-1 with that, so I will pump him up by one to save him. And then the 6-3 goes through. This is a win, I'm just gonna play it to completion. That's really, that's really disappointing that he left. I wish he had stayed through just to see the outcome of the game with a real player still playing. Uh, plays the 4-4 with Flash, means he can play it like an instant, basically. And it also makes it so that all green creature cards that he has, he can cast uh, with Flash as well, or play them as an instant. But it's, besides that, it's just a 4-4 creature, so nothing significant. And, um, I do think I'm going to win this game, which is probably the reason why the real player, Ridiculous, left. You know, that's the assumption, because he realized, hey, wow, this game's not going so well for me right now. 
And I said, "Am I?" And I said, "Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's not, it's not sucker." Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's swing with these bad boys here. Um, I'm gonna go with the six three. Still want to save some blockers, of course. So, so save those guys to block. We're gonna go with these guys right here. I'm gonna swing with these three. Let's see what Eva decides to block. Eva decides to block that with that, which is it. So we pump him up by t by two, by two to save him, and then with all the extra damage, with all the extra, with this going through, we pump it up all the way. So 15 damage goes through, brings Eva down to eight. Oh, why did he have to leave? What a what a sore loser! What a loser! <laughs> <laughs> a win's a win though, right? Would have been a lot sweeter if this was against uh, that chump though. Alright, so he's gonna attack with everything that he has right now. Doesn't have trample here, no cards in hand either. So I can just block these two and uh, and then take it. So blocking comes up. We do five damage to him to kill that. We do four damage to him to kill that. And then that's what happens. Eva loses the rest of the board. Play another swamp for the heck of it. And then we swing through for the rest of our damage. And then a little bit more. And this is totally unnecessary, but I'll do it just for the lulls. Let's pump this all the way up to 12. Oh yeah, making that 14, 13. Talk about overkill. It's a bit much. Force wins, lull against Ridiculous, who leaves early, because he's a crybaby. All right, guys, well, sorry if that was a, a little bit anticlimactic, but I can't help if players are so bad that they leave the game when they play me. What can I say? <laughs> That'll do it for this episode of Magic the Gathering coverage. Stay tuned in the future for some more videos, as we'll do some more multiplayer, because, well, because it's fun. Take it easy, guys. Keep watching and keep owning.